If you guys are looking for some piss cheap coins, head on over to golden.com and use DRG for a discount. Or if you're looking to buy some cheap MSP or PSN codes, head on over to G2A.com. What's going on lads and welcome to the countdown of the top 50 FIFA 16 players where today we are going to be looking at players 50 to 41. Now there's a couple of big jumps in stats and of course we've got some downgrades. Most of them are pretty much expected. So, let's take a look at player 50, which is Di Maria. Now, as we all know, he's moved on from Man United and he has gone to PSG. Now, yes, you can see he's got a minus one overall. He's gone from an 86 to an 85, which, you know, is totally understandable. There's, I don't think there's anybody that can disagree with that. But he's still got nice stats. He's got 88 pace, 79 shooting, 83 passing, 86 dribbling, 49 defending, 70 physical. So his stats are pretty much still OP, but he's got that slight downgrade, which is deserved. So at 49, we have got Petr Cech, who does not get a downgrade, which it kind of surprised me. It could have gone either way. You know, you can't really argue the fact he didn't get downgraded. And I suppose you can argue the fact he's still a top class keeper, but he didn't play at all last season, really, apart from the couple of games here and there. So maybe it's probably fair he sticks with an 85 because he did done nothing wrong but didn't do anything to get an upgrade either. So he's still an absolute solid keeper. He's still going to be one of the best on the game, especially for the BPL bar Courtois. So yeah, that's 49. Let's move on to 48. So at number 48, we have got Cavani. Now, I don't like Cavani on the game, but what I'm hearing is strength is going to be a thing on this, but they say that every year it's not going to be pace. In my opinion, it's going to be pretty much all about pace as usual. Cavani has took a minus one on his stats, which to me, he should never have been an 86. Yes, he's a good striker, but there's so many strikers out there that are better than him that are not rated as high as Cavani was. So I think an 85 is probably fair. He didn't have a bad season last season, but I just think 86 was too much for Cavani overall. Again, he's got decent stats. He's got that 83 rating. And of course, if what we're led to believe is true, that 80 physical is going to be pretty decent. So... Moving on to 47. So at 47, we have got Vincent Company, who gets a downgrade from 86 down to an 85, which of course, totally expected after the season he had last year. It was not his best by far, but he has started pretty well this season. So there's a possible upgrade there for Vincent Company. And the big thing is, his pace has gone from, he was in the 70s down to 69. 69 is not overly bad, but you do want to see the 70s with your centre backs, especially. Other than that, he's defending 86, physical 81, so he's going to be pretty good, he's 6 foot 4. He's still going to be a good defender, just not as good as we're used to. Let's move on to 46. At 46, we have got David Alaba, who finally gets the recognition he deserves. He's got a massive plus 3 upgrade on his stats, from an 82, the whole way up to an 85, and he's the, one of the best left backs in the world, if not the best. So, finally, he's getting the rating he deserves. He's, Stats look awesome, 86 pace, which is unreal. Defending, 84, 83 dribbling, and 72 physical. He's passing his 81. You can play this guy left wing back, you can play him left mid, if you really wanted to. His stats are that good. He's got four star weak foot, three star skill moves. You're not gonna really need the skill moves with Alaba, but he is gonna be the best left back on the game. He looks absolutely solid. So at 45, we have got Diego Godin, who has got an upgrade from 84 to an 85, which again, totally understandable. By far, he's Atletico's best centre-back, or best defender. And he's, yeah, as I say, he's got an upgrade. His stats are awesome. You've got the pace, which I said you want, the 70s. He's got that, he's defended 87, which is awesome, and the physical 78, which is pretty good as well. So again, if you're building a BBVA team, you're going to want Godin in your backs because he looks OP this year. Now at 44, it's an interesting one because it's John Terry and he does get a plus two overall. But look at his pace, 34 pace. You're not going to use John Terry in your team. If you do, you've got a death wish. You're going to get absolutely destroyed. His defending, yes, is 87. His 81 physical is going to be a help as well. But if you get in behind John Terry with the likes of Ibarbo, who is rumoured to be coming to the BPL, wow. God help John Terry. That's going to be absolutely insane. Weak foot, four star, not overly necessary with the defender. You're either going to pass it out or you're going to boot the hell out of it. But that pace is going to be a massive blow to anybody that likes to use Terry. He was never overly fast, but yeah, he, de he definitely deserves his plus two overall. Pace slightly harsh, but we'll see. Maybe he'll play better than we all think. So at 43, we have got one of the biggest movers, the biggest movers so far that we've seen, plus 
84 overall for Naldo. He's gone from an 81 to an 85. His stats are unreal. You've got that 73 pace that I was talking about. You want the 70s. He's defending 88. That is absolutely unreal. And physical 76, which is pretty decent as well. Now, of course he deserves to be plus four. He was absolutely unreal last year. The exciting thing is, I think Naldo kind of died off in FIFA 15. Not a lot of people used him. Previous FIFAs, he was OP. Then he seemed to die off. This is the year that Naldo makes his comeback with those stats. 85 rated. Cannot wait to give him a try. Let's move on to the next player. At 42, we have got Yaya Torre. This is a sad day for all Yaya fans. He's got downgraded from an 86 to an 85. His stats are still pretty OP. 76 pace, 83 shooting, 81 passing, 79 dribbling, 70 defending, and that massive 86 physical. Now, of course, he does deserve his downgrade because he had again he had a bad season last year the same as Vincent company but again he started the season pretty well so the possible upgrade for Yaya so you might see an 86 later on in the year but his stats are still absolutely OP that one downgrade is not really going to affect him so I will definitely be giving Yaya a try so at 41 it's the last one we've got today it is Santi Cajorla who's moved from left mid into a cam so you're going to have some more options with Cazorla. I think he was wasted out on the left. I don't think many people would have used him uh, on the previous FIFA. As a cam, he's going to have competition from the likes of David Silva. De Bruyne's probably going to be a cam as well. And will he get into your team? His stats for a cam are absolutely unbelievable, by the way. He's got 73 pace, 78 shooting. He's passing 85, which is massive for a cam. 87 dribbling, which is nice. Defending, you don't really need it as a cam and physical 64 because he's a dwarf but his stats are amazing for it and he's an 85 you got a plus one upgrade which again you can say is deserved you got five star weak foot which is also always good and four star skill move so he's going to be a solid player this year if i pack Kadora this year i'll actually be a, sl a small bit excited because usually it's just automatic discard so i think he's one to look out for and definitely try him in your team he could be a cheap beast so that is it, that is 50 to 41. As far as I know, we get the, we're gonna get the next 10 each day. So we're gonna get to see more of these videos. If you enjoyed it, please do smash those likes. It really does mean a lot. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and I shall talk to you all next time. Cheerio.